So I just plant this uh, usually keep it in a box, I'm not sure why, don't have enough room, showing on the power bar, bar, excuse me. something, just not remember what. Oh, right. I thought that was my HTC 5G hub charger. That's the open source uh, <coughs> scan cover. Installed, but uh, the default boot boot up is to automatically <coughs> automatically install. So there's nothing uh, that uh, Mega or whatever computer. So the issue with these stupid HDMI cables they keep damaging uh, the HDMI port. Because they, they don't have the proper uh, shaping. That's the easiest way to uh, call it. The rounder, for example. And the HDMI connector behind the screen or TV expects a square thing. It damages it all the time by plugging, the, <coughs> plugging it in the wrong way. So I'm trying to find a better quality HDMI cable. Probably have 20 of them that I threw out at least. So I already have one in the back of a the TV or computer screen. HDMI specification. The connector. You can go online should be square, I mean the physical part, plastic part, not rounded, and this is probably like a one dollar, maybe a five dollar cable, that doesn't matter, and most of uh, <coughs> the new ones are rounded for some reason, so whenever people are trying to plug them in, they can't, they need a flashlight, a bunch of all the time. And they come loose. So there's one on the back, there's one on the side. If I uh, spend 10 hours, I might be able to find it. If it's round, if it's square. stick in and not be loose. Sure.
there. It's nice and die. I'm pulling on it, it's not falling out. Compared to uh, some of these, I guess these are okay. It depends on the screen type. This one keeps coming loose. It's an adapter. So it's round. Round dead. It's not meant for uh, <coughs> the better quality, sc <coughs> better quality screens or TVs. This is an old, ultra wide LG something. Full color for whatever. Gaming, non gaming, adjustable screen. <coughs> Shit, the other button on the side. So the physical uh, shape of the plastic makes it impossible to plug it in. Then if the uh, plastic is plastic or whatever is around it, keeps the connection loose. So whatever I have uh, my Chromebook or something else. Plugged in using that adapter. The cable just comes loose and the picture keeps cutting out. Then if I'm uh, in the middle of a game, like on an NVIDIA cloud or something, or the whole picture, audio sync, cuts out. And the game crashes. And the whole internet, well, wherever I'm running, crashes. Because it switches into the. Sorry, I just left my. Switches into the internal graphics, or internal screen. Then the funny stuff happens, a bunch of other funny stuff happens. And. Uh, C60. <coughs> Commodore 64 uh, Ultimate Replica. So I just bugged it in. I don't like to be all CD and keep checking if the connector is plugged in. Plug it in on the back of the TV and I will select the other input. As you might choose. There's also the display port and the uh, I'll just stop power. Why the heck is everything so complicated? Automatically exits after the tunnel. What's the boss? The fuck? I'm not sure if it's running in the uh, power NTC. A lot of sh no more. An NTC mode. Bah. Normal speed. Uh, clock. Installed, yeah, it's a little bit off. 1982. I don't feel like <coughs> changing the current of the time. So, there's an internal storage, it's just the USB flash drive, like this one. And then, <coughs> I use these ones, generic. 
all the ones that are smaller as in storage but they're more reliable because they're slow so there's a lot of stuff that does not run on uh, <clears throat> NTSC or other weird configuration. Like second reality will not run. Uh, Arcanoid that usually requires the analog battle paddles. Floppy 98 demo has a bunch of interesting uh, stuff. Keyboard test. This is a uh, PRG file. This is what I've been using with a bunch of systems. It's just displays. DMA. What is it? It's displays. Shut up, keyboard. Like a uh, physical keyboard. Contest if there's anything loose. No. Contest if there's any ghosting, all this stuff. A lot of the key combos will overlap, but the key was fine. <clears throat> I think I bought it on eBay, somewhere else. Like new, didn't have to clean it much yet. Shift lock, overlaps of shift. Forgot how to exit this, seriously. It's in uh, another language, delete, stop. 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 Start. Doesn't matter. But that's it. We need to answer that. So that's <clears throat> that's the utility I use for testing keyboard. Work copy. This demo does not run correctly on the <coughs> emulators, uh, FPGA emulators either. It only runs right on the, correctly on the. Real Commodore 64 PAL, I think. It's just the one disk demo. On the other FPGA, Raspberry Pi's, uh, Soft, whatever, Windows, all the emulators I've tried over the last 10 years, they all screw up in terms of timing and music and uh, video. So this is the same one, it's just on a different name. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I can't be going on.
program? Shit. I want to sign a computer program? Is it really so hard to believe?
Right. Uh, <laughs> Asteroids, I mean. Well, I do remember it's called keyboard controls. But I can't play. Does not support keyboard controls. Pretty sure it does. It's just uh, some of the joystick buttons and maps to the keyboard. They usually look good. Like one, two, and Q something. This one's, uh, and this game is uh, really good, but it's only real good with the paddle controller. Just can't play it right with uh, joystick. Controls. They need uh, some more cleaning monster. I mean, in terms of repairs. <clears throat> and set your name. I was playing Super Speed Pac Man and I fell asleep. So I did. Supposedly, shit. Come on, Ben. I have no idea if they're real. Made in uh, Hong Kong. Do you know Come on, was that popular in Hong Kong? The weird part about these is true, man. Which is not weird. They were probably designed to play Pong. I mean, two player Pong. Uh, but they plug into one port. So sometimes they're detected as a mouse, like a Commodore mouse. I'm not sure which port to plug it into. Battles, uh, oops. They're quite noisy, quite loose. They're just 
it's just, uh, what, what is it called? Like an analog part inside. And uh, I think the SID chip input analog in takes care of the <coughs> analog stuff. The SID is, if the SID chip is parked, it will not work. I mean, the analog battle controllers. <coughs> Neos mouse or Geos mouse? Would probably be easier to play with a mouse, but battles are good. N J K B D two devices. Uh, Oh, that's for uh, <coughs> if uh, someone wants to play using a mouse or a keyboard and the other player wants to play using a paddle. Something like that. Fire button. It's usually hard to find. It's uh, always a red one. These paths look perfectly fine. They just they gotta leave both hands. The way uh, the physics and all that works, it's not playable with a keyboard adjustment. Thank you. 